The top honor went to Nithin Tuma from Fort Gratiot, Michigan. Great honor, it's a great honor, and it just, you know, pushes me to do the things I've been doing, you know, things I love to do, continuing my, my, uh, my research work in science. I think the high school senior won for one research one that could lead to more targeted, yeah, effective, and less debilitating so breast cancer treatments. During the week-long competition, this he and all the other like students so. defended and their so projects like before judges and explained them to the public. When I apply voltage, it begins to like the water a lot more. And Jack Lee from El Segundo, California, developed a way to improve an enzyme therapy for phenoketonuria, or PKU, a genetic disease that causes mental retardation and seizures. The results were really wonderful. It was um, the, the encapsulated version of the enzyme um, passed through the stomach and the small intestine unscathed while the unencapsulated version was um, completely uh, deactivated. Another finalist, Marion Bechtel from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, engineered a new system for detecting buried landmines, an urgent problem in war zones worldwide. They actually kill or injure someone every 22 minutes and the most common methods right now are very inefficient. So I looked into a new method that could potentially also be very inexpensive and simple to work, which I think is a key factor in a demining device. Um, so I looked into seismoacoustics, which is just a fancy word for using sound waves and ground vibrations at the same time. Marion's device is able to scan a field until it finds a resonating sound wave that identifies an object as a likely buried mine and not a rock or other debris. So far, it's showing a lot of potential. The Intel finalists say their projects give them a way to promote their passion, science. Okay. It's an addiction. I mean, once you get through it and have those breakthroughs, it's just... It's so amazing. It's such an amazing feeling and you just keep going back to it. So I don't think I'll be I'll ever be able to break that addiction to science. We need to go out and say, hey, science, science is cool. Science is something that's awesome and, um, you know, you should get interested in it. The Intel Science Talent Search confirmed I'm that an addiction to science so can be a good thing <laughs> and that it's driving a new generation of innovators who are helping to address some of the world's most pressing challenges. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.